Do you want to see if Milk's new Hydro Grip Primer is good for skin over 50 years old? Then stay tuned. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Kat from Cat's Eye. Well, I'm going to review today the new Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I've seen lots of reviews on YouTube for this amazing primer, but I haven't seen it on anybody over 50. So I'm going to try it out and I hope you'll stay tuned and see the results. Go ahead and buy the full ounce, the full size Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Now this was $30 and I know they do sell a mini one for $15, so that's fabulous if you just want to test it out. But you've heard the claims about this primer. It's a hydrating makeup gripping primer formulated with hemp derived cannabis seed extract and blue agave extract for all day hydration and hold. Now being over 50, I need hydration all day long. I mean, there's only so much water I can drink. So the directions say is after application, you wanna let it set for about a minute because from what I understand, it's very tacky. Let's see what the product looks like. This is what it looks like. Let's test out the, I'm gonna show you right here what it looks like. Like I'm, I'm serious, I did not open it up. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh. Let's do one more pump, you think? Just, okay. A little half pump there. Now. First impressions. Oh, there you go. It's clear. It's a little bit green. And you know what it reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of aloe vera. Have you ever had a really bad sunburn and you, well, we have an aloe vera plant here and we just cut it open and it, that's kind of like what the consistency reminds me of. See? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dab it on my skin and it feels very, it feels very cooling to the skin. And Quite honestly, it feels like I just cut open an aloe vera plant and put it all over my face. So I'm going to rub it in and it feels really good. It's super tacky. It, this is very different from the typical primers that I use. I mean, I've used several different types of primers, everything from Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer to Elvis, Elvis the Elf Putty Poreless Primer. This is definitely tacky. It feels pretty good. Cooling almost. So yeah. But I'm going to let it set for a minute. And yeah, it's definitely tacky, but it feels good on the skin. This feels really nice. I'll tell you what, I can actually feel it plumping. I, maybe I'm going crazy, but I can totally feel it plumping up my skin. And I definitely need this at my age. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my foundation and see how that applies with this primer. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a good foundation just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna use my Lancome Taunt You Doll Ultra Wear 24 Hour Foundation in case you haven't seen the review for it. I'll link it up there and see how it lays on my skin. And okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take a damp beauty sponge and go ahead and pounce this in. It is looking very plumped and very luminous. So I'm hoping this will this will hang around for a bit. But what I'm going to do next is I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have my full face makeup on and I'm not gonna lie, when I was applying my blush, uh, I had some weird uh, funky spots right through here. And I, I took a picture to, and I'm gonna zoom in really close if you can see that. But it's almost like, it's like this super smooth part of my skin but the blush just kind of wiped everything off. So I, I tried to go back in there and apply more blush and the blush that I was using was just the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks Melting Powder Blush. I'm not sure if I had wiped it away while I was applying it, but I was careful to just tap it in. But for some reason, it created this weird spot and it's, I don't know if you could see that. I'm gonna zoom in really close. It's just very odd. But everywhere else, my skin feels good. It feels light. You can't feel it on your skin. And I felt like the makeup went on uh, pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie, uh, it, it did pill up a little bit. It pilled up around here, 
Um, maybe I didn't wait long enough. That's not going to deter me. Um, I just took a, a big blush, a big foundation brush, and just brushed away the excess pillage. And it was fine after that. So I'm really curious to know if I didn't wait long enough. It says to wait a minute for it to set and absorb in your skin. But I'm going to give it a test ride. I'm going to go about my day, and I'll do some check-ins, and I'll check in with you later. Uh, if you want to know what I'm wearing with the rest of my makeup, I'll link it down below and I will check back with you later. It has been a day. It's been about eight hours since I applied the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And needless to say, quite disappointing. As you recall earlier when I was applying my foundation, it went on quite well, but I did have some pillage around my jaw area. So like I said, what I did was I took my foundation brush and brushed away the extra pillage. Then I came across the problem of when I tried to apply my cream blush, it literally wiped away a bald spot, if you will, on my face, which I found it completely bizarre. So I had to go back over that bald spot and tap in some more blush. Um, and another thing, <clears throat> when my husband came home from work today, he said, wow, your skin looks kind of uh, pory. There's that word again, pory. Uh, my pores were larger than usual. I get it. I get it. I'm over 50 and I'm going to have pores, but I was hoping with this particular primer with agave extract that it was going to seal in that moisture and provide a nice layer. Um, opposite with me, it brought out texture. Um, my foundation, which is a great foundation at that, was creasing around my nose. Um, I just didn't like it. I don't think it's flattering on my skin. Uh, it, it just, I don't know, words are failing me. I had such high hopes for this primer. Um, and I know I applied it correctly. I read the directions. Um, I put a thin layer on. I waited over a minute. I, I may just play around with it. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with this clearly. Uh, so please leave a comment down below if you've tried this primer and if you had the same issues as I did. The pilling, um, the literally making bald spots on your face when you're trying to apply blush or highlighter or whatever you're applying. I'm really curious to know if I'm not the only one that has experienced this issue. Um, with that being said, I'm, I'm going to have to say nay on the milk Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Milk does a body good. This milk didn't do any good on my face, clearly. So I hope you liked this review. Just know that I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you subscribed. I, like I said, I like to review everything from drugstore to high end and find something that works for us women over 50. So please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.